come up to the eighth floor to speak to Ace. And I want to talk about Chance the Rapper making music history in Los Angeles. So what's the reaction been to him? Uh, very, Everyone's very excited. I think he is uh, a hip hop fan. He's a fan's fan. I mean, he is a uh, um, people that like hip hop. All types of hip hop love Chance the Rapper, whether uh, it's people really into lyrics or people that are into uh, social or conscious messages or people like to turn up. I think he is uh, the fan's artist, definitely. Now, he is 23. He is still unsigned. How can you have this Grammy win and still not be a signed artist? Yes, it's an amazing feat. It's his third mixtape. He's unsigned. uh, And I believe it's the first mixtape, a streamed album uh, to win a Grammy. He's done an amazing feat. Um, so where does he go from here? Because they were saying, and let me get it correct, so the first streaming only album to win a Grammy. Um, do you think he'll sign up or is he going to continue on this path? I don't think he needs to. I don't think there's anything a label can offer him at this point. He's won a Grammy. He's selling out shows all over the world. He's selling albums. There's actually no point in him signing a label. There's actually nothing they can do for him. Uh, they also had the first artist to release a music video through Facebook Live. Yeah, it's a social media and, and the internet is just changing the face of music. And he, he knows how to tap into that world and everybody behind the keyboard and he goes directly to them. It's really interesting though, isn't it? Because you have often heard with music awards previously that uh, it's labels that are taking over that the artist in a way gets submerged uh, by the rules and regulations of those larger companies mm. I think it's, it's just showing now that the people are more in control of who wins what who's selling the most I don't think um, labels or big corporations actually have that much say in terms of who does well so this is Colouring Book the one that he won the Grammy for uh, if you were to speak to our listeners Ace around the world and you know, they want to get a taste of his music. Uh, what would you recommend? The second mixtape, Acid Rap, is for me the, some of his best work. The Colouring Book is awesome, an awesome mixtape. I think that his second mixtape was when he was kind of finding himself. This one's awesome as well. But yeah, the second mixtape. I'm a little bit older than yeah. Chance. <laughs> and like when we had mixtapes, they were cassette tapes. But you're, they still use the term mixtape. Yeah, I mean, mixtape is just a clever way of not committing to the word album I think at the moment artists are using like originally mixtapes where loads of artists doing remakes or rapping on beats from other artists but now they're actually using uh, their own original music and putting them out in their own way Back in the day, uh, you'd give a mixtape on Valentine's Day to right. somebody you were kind of into. Yeah, I made many a Valentine's Day mixtape <laughs> on my way up. So, yeah, I, I remember those days. Yeah. So maybe this is it. Chance the Rapper is the mixtape you should hand over to your loved one. Very possibly. Yeah, you, you 